one of the most amazing stories you'd actually ever heard to hear about. Mm. COVID kicked in and voila, and here we are. Are you kidding me? This is COVID? This is COVID right here. Oh. It made us, sometimes we would look at COVID as a curse, but it was more like a blessing in disguise for me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Damaris Jenga. And my business here on earth is to bring you interesting stories all across Africa. But today we have a very special video because if you do not know, this is the month of May. And being the month of May, it's my birthday. And I got to learn of my beautiful friend lady who has the best story when it comes to cake. And today we're going to be diving into it. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and let's get straight into the video. Welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah, tell us about you, who you are, where you're from. Okay, I'm Bella, and people know me as Bella the Baker from Oshakati in the heart of uh, Namibia. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Wow, so did you start here? How did this get this? No, 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 no. Started? This is actually one of the most amazing stories you'd actually ever heard to hear about. Yeah. COVID kicked in, and voila, and here we are. Are you kidding me? This is COVID? This is COVID right here. Okay, so what, <laughs> what was happening before? Okay, I used to strictly bake from home, mm -hmm. and... I did. I had a phobia of taking my shop out of the house, baking outside, because I actually I was afraid of people getting to. I was basically afraid of too many orders. Oh, but okay. then when COVID kicked in, yeah. people were mostly at home. They were all craving for cakes, mm -hmm. and so many things were brought up. So let me ask: When did your love for cake start? Now, because you from, started baking from a very young age. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm born into a Portuguese family. And as from a very young age, our mothers are supposedly supposed to teach us on how to bake 24-7. And I started baking from the age of, I don't know, I don't, as far as I remember, my mom is the best baker. Oh. So we learn from her and here we are. Are you Portuguese or Namibian? I'm Angolan. Oh, you're Angolan? Yes. Wow. My mother is a descendant of a Portuguese and Angolan. Yeah. And my dad is full Angolan. And here we are. Angolan. And how do you end up in Namibia? I was born here. Oh, you were born here. But you are Angola. <laughs> yes. So all your life you've been here? I've been here all my life. We go to Angola to go and visit. We'll stay there for a month. Oh, but yeah, but we've been here all our lives. Mm. Yes. So tell us more about cake. How okay. Our cake journey goes not really, really far, but we've been here. we actually been here ever since COVID started. Mm -hmm. But we've been baking from home for the past six to seven years. That's a long time. That's a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. But COVID made us, sometimes we would look at COVID as a curse, but it was more like a blessing in disguise for me because um, I managed to give birth to this beautiful baby you see right here. Yeah. So my question is, why did it take you six to seven years to have a place? Um, we're not really thinking out. But you know, ah. yeah, we're not really thinking out. It was more just a hobby mm -hmm. and people would just pay small money for it and as time went by, I've come to realize that the more people that get to know me, the more orders I get, and then I started to price accordingly, and now I give classes, I'm one of the best bakers in town, so, I'm yeah. Wondering. How can get people get to you, like, for classes and stuff? Uh, I have an Instagram page, which yeah. is by Cake Jar Boss, and a Facebook by Bella Dalla, or Bella Skate Studio. So actually have three pages that people can get to or they can actually just call me on plus two six four eight one two zero triple one double four. Wow, amazing. So uh, in the cake process, I'm just imagining from my thought, I've never been to cake on this piece. There are things you like about the cake processing and there are things you don't like. What are these? My dear. I, I think I'm in this industry because I'm passionate about it. And not, it's more like therapy for me, really. Oh. Because when I'm stressed, the only thing I think about is baking. Somebody would be stressed and think about alcohol somewhere. Mm -hmm. I would literally wake up at 2 a.m. and just say, let me go and bake. Yeah. Let me put my mind to it. So this was more like a therapy. Yeah, I nearly hit depression not so many years ago. And the only thing that kept me up was baking. Wow. Yeah. So you would wake up to just bake? Just yeah. bake. Even you though I don't have... Time. Even though I don't have anything to do, I will just bake. So is your baking now from here or still from home and then you bring the cake? No, 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 no. Did from here. Everything, everything is from here. That is why usually back in the days, um, people would call me at 2 a.m. and I would be like, I want a cake. Or they would be like, I want a cake for my husband tomorrow morning. I would literally wake up 
But now that everything moved to the shop, it's difficult for me to do that. Mm. So everything is from here now. Wow. The biggest challenge in this industry? At this point in time is for the people to get to love cake. Oh, yes. so... <laughs> <laughs> it's still a hassle because we have other shops, yeah. bigger shops, really big. We have ShopRite, we have Pick and Pay, we have Spa. They have bigger cakes and they're selling it for a very small price. And trying to negotiate with our people on, you know how you know how they are our competitors because at this point in time they are my competitors. Yeah. Yes. So they have a 30 centimeter cake for 200, while my 30 centimeter is 500. There is a very huge gap. What makes the difference in that pricing? Hmm. I think because their cakes are more like foam. I'm not saying they are, but I think they are. Yes. And ours are... What does that even mean? Like they are more like foam? Foam, they are too soft, they are just too ah, dense. Okay, okay. Yes, and these ones are more like homemade. There is nothing that beats homemade. Ah, <laughs> Everything is homemade. Everything is from scratch. Yeah, but despite this challenge, you still get like your loyal customers? I still get my loyal customers. We still find the difficult ones, but hey, there is no hating me. Yes. They always come back. Yeah. <laughs> yes, apart from that, Amazing. So, what do you see future of this business? Like, what's the Ooh, I want a bigger place, and I want bigger companies to to actually count on me. Mm -hmm. Because as much as we want, I think we need to think outside the box. Oshakati is really small, not really really small, but it's small. We are less people. It's not like the capital city. Yeah. We have these challenges where we don't get all the things that we want here, mm -hmm. and we always have to import them. So that's still our biggest challenge because you find people from different aspects of life who yeah. know what type of cake they ate in Portugal, what type of cake they ate in Asia, and they want to find the same thing right here in Oshakati. So we try and bring all these things close to them. We try. We'll get there eventually. We are hoping. This is not where we see ourselves in 2025. Yeah. No, we want bigger stuff. We want a bigger place. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the Sawa News also maybe have the passion, they are just doing it in their house, what is something you have for them? I would uh, advise that they shouldn't end there. We started there, I actually never thought I would make it this far and when I started I literally had a phobia of people rejecting me or my kids are not good enough but yeah, here I am. I actually took their negativity and turned them into positive ways. Ooh. Every negative thing they would tell me, this cake is not straight, I'll take it back, put it in, and then yeah, voila, day is <laughs> positive. Yeah. And I would always take their comments very, very seriously. If they come back to me and they say, this cake was somehow like this or a bit, I would always go back and always make sure I'm making them happy. Mm -hmm. Because apart from them needing me, yeah. I also need yeah. them to get that top that I want. Oh, wow. Yes. So if you are not in the cake industry, where will I be? Mm -hmm. I'm currently on a pursuit of being a psychologist. Oh. And I love to have people. So apart from that, I want to be a shrink. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be the person that everybody can go to uh -huh. in terms of them not feeling well. Yeah. yeah. Apart from that, yeah. I was pursuing medicine. Mm -hmm. I was. I'm not, I have not stopped. But You want a break? I'm on a break for now. For how long? For now. For now, six, seven months. Ah, okay. For now, yeah. but as soon as we are done on, because I have two beautiful kids that need my attention, mm -hmm. and I have to run this, mm -hmm. I have to make people happy. I have a family of five, yeah. so yeah, that takes a lot of time, it's time consuming. So as time goes by, if I was not into baking, I'm so passionate about helping everybody around. Mm -hmm. So yeah, wow. as time okay. goes by. We'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. So I think I, I love seeing people who follow whatever they love, passionately and being able to appreciate and make it a whole big thing. So I'm so glad we're in love with this place. Uh, what is your favorite cake? Oh, this is interesting. <sighs> I love eating. <laughs> I love all cakes. But yeah. I would love a plain vanilla cake. Plain vanilla, vanilla cake. Straight from the oven. Fresh. Yeah. It should be vanilla or lemon. In the two. Vanilla yes, chocolate is my my son's favorite, mm -hmm. so I always have to bake it as an extra. Mm -hmm. 
but me and my daughter we are on the same page of lemon and vanilla so we're gonna be having lemon and vanilla this time i was actually asking that so i can know what Let me see. this one yeah so instead of buying a full cake, yeah. I came up with the concept of having a cake, cake in a jar. That wow. is why my name is Cake Jar Boss on Instagram, mm. because I'm the very first person in Namibia to bring this up. Wow. Yeah, Amazing. we would have been doing it, you know, people have been doing it for years, yeah. just putting things together, but this is well organized, mm. it gives you the types of flavors. Yes. And you have like variety of flavors. Variety. We have chocolate, lemon, red velvet every day in yeah, the shop uh, you do you do cupcakes yes we have yeah. cupcakes not regularly but on order oh, yes order you we have cakesicles as well yeah. wedding cakes what else apart from that yeah. we are in the cake accessory department where most of the bakers will come to me for everything they want to use on their cake ah, so yes. like, so you decorate for them no 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 i sell the things that they need to decorate ah, okay. So you so see, we have cakes with us. Ooh, this is so good. Cute. It looks like. I like it. Ice cream. Or I feel like a baby now. <laughs> <laughs> there. Yeah. So you see, oh. perfect. Oh. And then we have the heart shape. Heart shape. And this, and we started doing these things because we see them on Instagram, and people would come to us and they would ask for things that we don't even have. Yeah. I had to buy those molds from Angola. We never had them. And when after buying them, yeah. then a shop inventor started to stock them as well. So, yes, we are trying to bring America to Africa. Africa. Yeah, and, and learning from them in whichever way. Yes, can. but the best industry for cake is Nigeria so far. They have the oh, best yes. industry. Yes. Okay. Ooh. I learn from them every single day. I can't go to sleep without having a look on what they're busy. We need to keep up to date every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. I actually didn't know that. No? No, no, really? no. I didn't know Nigerians are into cake. They are. They are the best. Okay. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here. No problem. Thank but you, you guys, first wish me a happy birthday down there. If you're by chance anywhere in Namibia, in the northern side, Bella's Cake Studio is the place for you. Come support her business. If you have any other form or way or thoughts or ideas that you can suggest to her or things like that, Please. they are always welcome. Please. Yeah, we learn we learn every single day. Yes, we keep learning. Thank you so much. It's been my pleasure. Bye. Thank you.